What should I do for the 28th birthday of Anna Taylor Joy? Hmm. Let's do a redo movie review on everyone's favorite video game adaptation of all time since, I don't know, like Wreck It Ralph, which I don't count that as a video game movie, but honestly, since the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 2. Hello everyone, or good even everyone, this is your good old Nibble Nick Kick Spider-Verse and Frozen 2 and Kim Possible Fan 2001 and doing to the beautiful and amazing actress with Jeanette and Anna Tua, beautiful Joy, just turned 28 years old and happy 28th birthday to the beautiful, gorgeous Anna Tua Joy. She is so beautiful, like her outfit, her hairstyle, or even her makeup and even, honestly, and even her cute anime eyes. I cannot stop that. Honestly, I cannot stop staring at staring at her cute anime eyes. And I do not care if someone said that Anna Taylor Joy creepy. Like how in the world she's creepy. Honestly, Emma Turd is way more creepier and way more terrifying than Anna Taylor Joy. Do I? I will really go my hatred on Emma Turd, which I cannot stand now with a beard. Maybe that's why I say that because. I don't want to say the B word because let's keep this channel family friendly because we do not want to be like the SML. Yes, what I thought. So, hey guys, so today I am doing a redo movie review on Luigi Gaming's favorite movie of all time, which sometimes he'd say Puzzle Boot 2 is his favorite movie. And after that, he'd say that Way of Movie is, I'm sorry, it's his favorite movie. And now, oh God, and now I am thinking that he's saying, I'm sorry, that he's thinking. That he's thinking that Disney Wish is his new favorite film. But honestly, guys. Uh, honestly, guys. Honestly, guys. I gotta be honest. But he. Honestly, he. Honestly, guys. He, he got too many fav I'm sorry. Too many favorite movies. Which I just completely complicated. What is your number one favorite movie? Which I'm probably he said. Every movie. Every movie is his favorite. Well, not even Sergeant's Party and the Avengers of Infinity War. Because he just didn't even care about the film. But boy, he didn't hate it. But he just didn't like it. But I just don't understand why he really did not like the Barbie movie. Like, it can show that, it can show that you have a problem with Margot Robbie and even the female generation. Honestly, I'm not trying to hate on you, but I was just saying. So, hey guys, so today I am doing a redo movie review on everyone's favorite video game adaptation since the Sonic the Hedgehog movie 2. I don't count the first film as the, as, the, as the favorite because number one is just your generic road trip movie, which I would have watched the mature version of Machine better than watching Sonic the Hedgehog 1. And second of all, that film have nothing to do with the video game. But honestly, guys, they have to design the video game. But it didn't, honestly, it didn't feel like a movie based on video game because it's just like your typical generic road trip movie. But don't worry, the sequel just did that film justice and I might do a redo movie review on the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 leading up to the third film. And speaking of the third film, Keanu We is going to be playing Shallow in the Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Yup, we got a John Wick movie to join the Sonic universe. Great job, John Wick. Great job. Cannot wait to see your voice as shallow. And so, hey guys, enough for the ado. Let's get this Mario review started, shall we? Let's go! So, hey guys, I probably you remember of this abomination called the Mario movie from the 90s. And everyone really did not like that freaking movie because they call it one of the worst video game adaptations that, honestly, that that they have that that some surgery they have is they you know what let's forget what i just said because every time i say that word i always sexual anyway 
people say that the Mario movie is the, sorry, the Mario movie from the 90s is the worst video game adaptation ever made. We'll just say that because Andrei is way better than, it. is way better than the last word that I was trying to say, but doing too much censoring is ruining it. Thanks to censoring, now go screw yourself. And so, hey guys, and after the abomination of the Mario movie of the 90s should not exist in the first place because that film is directed by husband and wife. Like, how in the world that husband and wife always screw up the one video game movie? I'm very sorry, but I definitely agree with Lumber and back. And now husband and wife is officially is the top five worst director in Hollywood because they cannot even direct a film at all. But oh, I'm not trying to hang on. I'm not trying to hood on husband and wife. They are great. But as a filmmaker, just makes a romantic comedy. It's way better than <laughs> it's way better than you touching a fan favorite video game and make it to your own. Because that I got that film is so dark, but not in a good way. It's a bad way. Only got they are not frozen too. They are not Kim Possible Soul Drama. And they are definitely not across the Spider Verse. I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, guys, it's called Nick Hicks, Spider-Verse, and Frozen 2, and Kim Possible Fan 2001. Not Nick Hicks 2001. Get over it. And so, you guys, and when I hear that the Mario movie is going to be, <clears throat> it's going to be on the walk, but, <clears throat> but Rumination and Universal is just take that project, and now they are making as a animated movie, an animated 3D, I mean 3D, sorry, 3D, 3D movie of the Mario movie. I was really excited. And yeah, sure, Rumination is a very, it's a very okay. I'm not going to say mediocre. I'm not going to say bad because I do remember back in the past that I keep hanging on Rumination for non-freaking stop, which people blame on F Thane Studio. F Thane Studio is the main cause of that situation because if I don't hate the Rumination, F Thane Studio should not exist in the first place because screw him. I'm oh, sorry, screw him. Screw his YouTube channel. And all the guy and whoever friend with him, just don't be friend with him, okay? He's a manipulating piece of the crap. And so, hey guys, and when the Mario movie got hit in feeders on April 5th, 2023, we got a lot of the Mario fan base really enjoy the heck out of the movie because they call it as a fun and entertaining movie. Like the story, the character, the animation, everything about that film is so true. But not until the woke mob give this film a 59% on one sorry on on one freaking tomatoes. This is even disgusting. I'm sorry. This on oh, guys. This is. I'm trying not to. I try not to get cringe for this one, but one is going to be some cringe. But honestly, what tomato have audacity to give this film a 59%? On Rotten Tomatoes. This is even worse than Disney Wish got a 48% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, come on. This is a fan movie. It can show that Rotten Tomato is just a bunch of the haters about fun and entertaining movie. And all the guys, and just like the Joker, all the guys, and just like what the Joker said from The Dark Knight. What are you so serious? Yeah, what, what tomato? What are you so serious? You know, all you gotta do is no need, there was no need to be serious. And we got some people all saying that Princess Peach is a really terrible character, which I totally disagreed. But honestly, guys, if you're not a huge fan of Princess Peach, but honestly, guys, do it in a proper way. Just don't sit there and compare it to her into way, of, sorry, into way from the Rise of Skywalker, which that is the worst comparison. I have ever seen my life. How in the world you honestly? How in the world that you're going to compare it, the most attractive girl in the Elimination film into the most disrespectful Jedi that you ever seen in your <clears throat> that you ever seen in your freaking life? Like there was no need to call it. Honestly, there was no need to call her a Raya ripoff because she is she is not Raya ripoff. She is not a woke character. She is not a female agenda, and that type of term is just so freaking freaking annoying. But honestly, guys, and thank goodness to the Lord that, honestly, thank goodness to the Lord that IMBD just ignored that and now they give this film like a 7 out of 10. Which I'm probably, if you don't know what 7 out of 10, which, honestly, guys, I'm gonna, honestly, guys, I'm gonna, let me see, honestly, uh, guys, let me see what 7 out of 10 is. Oh, yeah, 7 out of 10. It's a good film. So, 
on the IMBD said that the Molly movie is a good film. They give this film like a 7 out of 10. What honest face. That was my rating ideas. So it's not IMBD. It's my ratings idea. So don't judge me. And so hey guys. On the guy, do you know how many times I rewatched the Mario movie? I rewatched it five times. I rewatched it five times and I will not get tired of it because more I rewatched this film and more I just really wish this film was longer. Like how in the world the scene two I mean, how in the world the scene duology got a longer one time than the Mario movie? Let's think about it. So maybe work on my research real quick and I already know this is gonna be a longer video which who who give a who give a crap? Because scene two is a one hour and fifty minute long movie, which is nearly like a two hour movie. But with the Mario movie, is one hour and thirty two minutes, which that is the most shortest runtime for your Rimination film. Rimination, are you trying to be like Puss in Boots two thousand eleven, or even Tarzan from nineteen ninety nine, or even Winnie the Pooh that came out in two thousand eleven? No people, I'm, no people, I'm not talking about we need to put butter funny yet. Yeah, honestly, you get that movie on my face now. Thank you very much. I do not want to think about, honestly, I do not want to think about, I do not want to think about that kind of the feminine movie, stupid. And still, you guys, what do I, or what do I think of the Super Mario Bros. movie after one year's later? And plus, I got a 4K of it. Yeah, that's right. I got a 4K of this film for Christmas last year, which is the most disappointing. They didn't even give me a strip cover. Which I might get on eBay and maybe and maybe they have some cheap prizes for a strip cover. If they don't have that, I might make my own. So hey guys, and what do I think of the Mario movie that came out one year ago? Which is which is show? I gotta say, but my uh, guy, my opinion on this film is it's just exactly the same, just like my original review. I said I wish this film was honestly I wish this film had some longer one time because it was completely uncalled for that you're making scene two as the most longer elimination film, which some people some people are not a huge fan of scene two, but we got a bunch of fan base who really enjoy scene two, which I'm part of the fan base now. Guys, even I enjoy scene two, but that was really disrespectful that scene two got a longer one time, but not the Mario movie. Yeah, honestly, I really hope the Mario movie 2 will get a two hour long movie, which I really hope so, because don't give me an excuse that Rimination is doing this, I'm sorry, doing this one time, it's because kids could not sit for a two hour movie. Have you not seen some of the kids watch across the spider Verse? Well, you're not stupid, I was not born yesterday. <laughs> guys, honestly, honestly, guys, what day, honestly, what day is my birthday? I did not, honestly, I did, honestly, I, I did not born yesterday, and I am not stupid. So yeah, I on the I on the I wasn't born yesterday, and I, on the and I wasn't born yesterday. So cut it out, cut it out of the excuse, and stop bringing COVID as an excuse. Stop making it an excuse, you Ingo Crapple. Anyway, guys, and just like what I just said in my original review of this film, I said I wish this film was longer, and I wish this film has some much better story development. And even the one star, which I, <laughs> I let her hang out the stars from Disney Wish because at least the star from Disney Wish is not your typical generic suicide character development. Like honestly, guys, Rosalina the stars, he is honestly, guys, she is just for, <clears throat> she is just like a typical characters about <clears throat> about enjoying suicide. Shit, I'll see. Just wet that stars to hang out the other stars from Disney Wish because they will make a much better couple than seeing the stars really enjoy herself to be in the fire. Like, it can show that she is so cool. I already know she's a comedy, but still, she's so cool. Anyway, guy, Andy, uh, guy, Andy, one character that I absolutely do not like. And don't worry, honestly, honestly, even this film will get a 10 out of 10, but this is not a, <clears throat> this is not a really negative, but I had to get this off my chest. Which is another the one scene when Luigi or Mario was stepping on the dog bone and the dog got really mad and they completely chasing Mario and Luigi. Like, are you freaking kidding me right now? You could just buy, you could just buy another bone. It's not a big deal. It's so stupid. There was no, uh, there was no need 
uh, again, there was no need to have the evil dog to chase on Mario and Luigi doing two that have to fix the sink. What is wrong with you? Come on now. Anyway, guys, I don't even know that some kids would say that calm down. It's just a dog characters. There was no need to get hard words on the dog. Have you not seen when Lumbo... Sorry. Have you not seen when Lumbo... When Lumbo I shot back, rage on the dog in this Tom and Jerry, the movie, the extreme went? Yeah, that's what I thought. So just because those dog characters in the movie, in animated shows, in anime movie in general, there was... Honestly, guys, it doesn't mean that they are... On the, on the deal doesn't mean that people w <clears throat> will judge you that you are being hard with on the dog and you'll call them a, a animal of fears. Could be like Peter, you crap hole. I mean, on the, I say Peter, not the, on the guy, not, on the guy, not the other P word, which, yeah. Anyway, guys. On the guys, enough for the do. Let's talk about so many good things about the Mario movie. And yeah, sure, I wish this film had some more story. But the story that we got is just completely clean. It's a completely a adventure movie. And you're just here for a fun ride movie. And honestly, I'm 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 I do not want to think about the greatest run of rant on the Mario movie. We're going to get that in a minute. And sorry, guys. And honestly, guys, I'll get to my favorite character in a minute. And sorry, guys, let's get the characters. Like Mario, he's a really fantastic character. And Chris Pratt did a did a fantastic job with his performance. And Luigi, Mama I'm sorry, Mama Luigi. Yep, Luigi is a very likable character, and I do, and I do feel the friendship duo of the Mario and the Luigi because they got separated when the Luigi got separated in um in Bowser Land, but with Mario, Mario got separated on the Mushroom Kingdom in the Mushroom Land. And on the guys in Toad, played by the same actor that he was playing, I think Ducky from Toy Story 4, or even, or even his characters from Wendy and Wild, or even his characters as a cop characters in Wonka. But I guess said, but this is easily one of my favorite performances that he ever did in his career. I already know that he was in one of the Women Nation films as an annoying bird, and uh, in the movie called Migration, I cannot stand that character. And yes, I did not like that character. That character was annoying the crap out of me. And sorry, guys, and the villain in the movie called Bowser, Jack Black, I can't believe why that you did not get nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Like, come on, he did a, ma I'm sorry, he did a, a massive job with his performance as Bowser. And this is how you do a Bowser character. Please ignore of the Bowser human version of the Mario from the 90s. It looks terrible. Like, you have to be to an actor, but still, man. Yeah, I do not want to think about that when Bowser turned to a human. That's so freaking disgusting. And sorry, guys, Bowser in this film. This has to be one of my favorite version of Bowser since Bowser from the Super Mario. I'm sorry, Super Mario Logan. Or you, or, or guys, or you could call it the Super Marvin Logan. I cannot stand the word Marvin. It's so freaking annoying. <laughs> anyway, and Donkey Kong, voiced by Seth Rogen, played by the same guy that he voiced of Frank the Sarges from Sarges Party. But I guess said, uh, but Donkey Kong is my favorite performance I ever seen for Seth Rogen, and this is easily one of my favorite version and my favorite character development of Donkey Kong. This is way better than the one Donkey Kong show. It is actually a whip off to the anime. I'm sorry, actually a whip off to the animation of Food Fight. If you're not a huge fan of Food Fight, do not watch Donkey Kong show because Donkey Kong shows that have the same animation, have the same cringy animation, just like Food Fight. And so, you guys, and honestly, guys, honestly, guys, when I was on site, honestly, guys, and every single time I watched the Donkey Kong show with presents, it's kind of reminded me not watching Food Fight over again. I might do a win of that Donkey Kong show because that show was not entertaining, it was stupid, it was awful, it was such an odd word. Yeah. Anyway, guys, and I won Cooper. Who voiced by the same actor that he was the voice of Robin from Teen Titan or even Teen Titan Go? I guess that, uh, but he did an amazing job with his performance. And, um, and Cody. Or you call him a Magic Koopa. But honestly, guys, people call him Cody, which let's call him Cody. I guess that Cody, aka Magic Koopa, 
is a very side character with Bowser. But my favorite character in this film, and don't worry, warning, it is going to be, warning, it's going to be a really cringy moment, which if you don't like this cringy moment, I recommend you, you skip, you skip the video into the, uh, I'm sorry, into the time, which I'm not showing the picture of it. Anyway, guys, Ozzy, my favorite character in this film, which is none than Princess Peach, played by the same actress, that she voice, that she voice, her name is Anna Taylor Joy. This is mainly why I'm doing this review on her 28th birthday. And she would be so happy that I did her special gift in a deep in my heart. I gotta say, but Princess Peach, this is easily one of my favorite versions I ever seen for Princess Peach. And I do agree with Lady, sorry, with Lady Gaming. I gotta say, but he do have a good point though. Princess Peach did not feel like a elimination character. She feel like that she's honestly like her I'm sorry, her character development, she honestly like she does not honestly she does she does not feel like feel like a sorry, feel like a elimination character. She feel like a Disney character. Because let's think about it, because every time you watch this film, Princess Peach was not trying to be like a elimination, a typical female character of elimination like Audrey or even Lucy from the Spiggle Me 3. I'm not gonna trash on the sequel because I do enjoy the sequel, but the third film is a piece of crap. And honestly, guys, and honestly, guys, my favorite scene of this film, which is another than Princess Peach, more like I Peach, where she kind of remind me of the Mario version of Elsa, which I really hope Rosalina will be in the sequel. I really hope so. And I really hope we'll get a voice actress that she's the voice of Elsa to voice Rosalina. Because Rosalina is kind of reminds me of the Mario version of Elsa. Because Princess Peach and El and and Rosalina do have some cute characters development. Yeah. Anyway, guys, on the guy, my favorite, I'm sorry, my favorite scene of this film, which is none other than Ice Princess Peach versus Bowser, when Princess Peach said, I will not marry the monster, and when Bowser said, we are breaking up right now, on the guy, that line is absolutely funny, and that is honestly one of the most iconic line I ever, I, I have ever heard for elimination, and the climax, I don't understand why some people, on the, I honestly, I don't understand why some people got sorry got really underwhelmed about the climax. I don't have no problem with the climax because I think the climax is the most underrated climax I ever seen for elimination. Doing to the Mario and we and Mama Luigi got I'm sorry got the power back to feed Bowser, save the day, and boom, that's your movie's over. Which, which is a very short movie, but honestly, guys, and Donkey Kong's uncle. I got sad, but he was a really likable character. And yeah, sure, he could be mean spirit to Mario, but at least, at least this film is not trying to be like Chicken Little. And yes, you could say everyone about the guy that <clears throat> that <clears throat> that he's boy on Mario and Luigi when the guy that he's wearing the sunglasses, sorry, wearing the sorry, wearing the black sunglasses and eating the pizza. And really insult to the Mario and Mama Luigi. But like I guess said, but even this film was not trying to be like Chicken Little and the Lego and the Jog movie level. But like I guess said, but even this film has a mean spirit tone. But at least it's way better than Chicken Little. I cannot stand Chicken Little. Because every time I think about that freaking movie, I just think it's one of the worst Disney movies I've ever seen in my freaking life. So overall, guys, the Mario movie is a very fun and entertaining movie. But don't worry, this film is in my honor mention to one of my favorite movies of 2023. I was really hoped, I'm sorry, I was really wish this film will be on my higher list. But honestly guys, I just seriously thinking that Oppenheimer or even Disney Wish or even Spider-Man The Cross of Spider-Wars is a real cinema right here. And honestly guys, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy the Mario movie. Mario movie is a cinematic masterpiece. But I guess, uh, but honestly guys, honestly guys, it's just Honestly, guys, it's just some people is just really overhyping of the movie and pretty shocking it up this film this film beat Frozen 2 as the most highest, highest grossing movie for an animated movie ever made. Paul Disney and now Disney is going to feel shame of themselves. 
thanks to Bob Chesapeake, completely destroyed the Disney legacy. But don't worry, we got Bob Arco, we're gonna forget about Bob Chesapeake, and I might do a win of him because Arnold got even, Arnold got even. E sorry, even the Bob Chesapeake drama is in the past, but we all agree that we are not going to let that slide. Honestly, guys, stay tuned for my rant on Bob Chesapeake, which is the worst CEO from Disney, and I do not want to see his face ever again. And sorry, guys, the Super Mario Bros. movie is my favorite video game adaptation I ever seen in my life since Mortal Kombat 2021, or Free Guy, or even the Sonic the Hedgehog, I mean Sonic the Hedgehog, Movie 2. I might do a redo review on the Sonic Movie 2, where you know the third film is coming out on Christmas. No joke, it's coming out on December 20th. Yeah, it's coming out on the first anniversary of Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom. Even I think this film is a really guilty pleasure, but honestly, guys, all, honestly, guys, it was a really underwhelmed way to end of the DCEU. But don't worry, it has a fun, entertaining moment. But some of the some of the stuff that happened in that film is just completely got really underwhelmed. Stay tuned. Honestly, guys, just check out my review if you want more detail about it. Sorry, guys. I'm giving the Mario Bros. I mean the Super Mario Bros. movie a ten out of ten. This is epic, brilliant masterpiece, and I'm giving this peaches, 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 peaches. Hey, see you, I'm Nick Hick Awesomeness. I'm very sorry about my singing of Princess Peach, which I am so sorry. My apology. <laughs> Man, I am totally disrespect to Jack Black. I am so sorry, Jack Black. Uh, honestly, guys, I was trying my best to be worse again. Not just kidding. So, hey, guys, that was my movie review, my We Do movie review on Super Mario Bros. movie. So, ain't it to enjoy? Here's your birthday gift, which is the Mario movie review. That everyone was waiting for, and now you got your gift. So don't pay me. Don't pay me. Sorry, guys. If you enjoyed this review, if you want to see more of this, please highly, highly recommend you. You hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share the virtual whole family. And even I enjoy SML. But honestly, guys, let's face it. I'm going to say it with my own big mouth. I seriously thinking that this film is way better than the model, than the model SML video. Yes, I, I said it. I said the Mario movie from 2023 is way better than the Mario as a male. Why? It's because this film got a reference to the one video about Logan's trying to see the Super Marvin Logan. Because there was a video about Logan was really excited to his I'm sorry, to see the Mario movie. But due to the angry gunman did not want him to see that film. And it was literally a Logan torture video. At least it's way better than the Mario torture video or even Junior torture video or even Cody uh, torture video. I would have seen a torture video about Lowe's. I mean, Lowe's way better than seeing a torture video of Marvin, Cody, or even Junior. So, you guys, have a great night, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And once again, yadios and good night. Peaches, 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 peaches,